Hey, howdy folks. Dana Briggs Acres here again, Ed. Uh, I was just watching the funniest thing in the world. Uh, Tommy, I think his name is Tom McGovern. Tom McGovern 27. Oh my God, he's funny. He's a musician that makes up crazy songs and stuff. But anyways, uh, what am I wearing here? Look at this. My sister used to be the uh, manager of the U.S. Paralympic team, even though she's a Canadian, but she lived in the States. Uh, and she gave, gave you, she's got us a lot of uh, U.S. Olympic stuff. It's great stuff. Anyhow, I am here, back here, on the generator. Uh, I'm going to try to post this after the part three video of the motorhome. Uh, but uh, you never know which video I get done first. This here was uh, sitting in the corner of my shop. I mentioned in the uh, other video. It was sitting there for a year. I had just gone through it and, and put it there, thinking, okay, it's ready to go in case I need it, which you really don't anymore because you have an inverter. If you haven't seen that video, go watch my how to get your, keep your furnace running in the case of a power outage. Just use an inverter on your battery. But uh, yeah, so this thing, I went to uh, start it, wouldn't start, opened the gas container, and it was full, absolutely full of rust. Check the gas level here. Again, wow, that's uh, got a lot of moisture in there. Look at all the rust. Holy cow, okay. I don't want to start that right now. This tank has some bad looking gas in it. Got some a rusty tank. I'm not sure if I'm going to have to take the tank off, but first I'm going to. Uh... Wow, yeah, I'm going to have to take the tank off, I think. Clean that out properly. Let's see if we can. Suck out the rest of this junk. These here, if you don't have one of these, evacuator, you need to get one. And uh, you can use you can use the uh, pump here, or you can hook it up to your compressor. Super, super useful. So uh, yeah, that sucks gas out pretty quick. Yeah, it's a little funny. Full show. No pumping needed. Unfortunately, this whole cover has to come off. Get at the uh, gas line. Right there. Just have to push it out of the way here. And then you need to shed some light on it. Like that. I gotta put my glasses on. Everything's so small. There we go. Ding. Let's give it a wash out. Oh, I'll try to get in the hole again. Oh my god. I'm not, I think I'm out of practice. Getting things in the hole. Well, I just washed the entire gas can off there. So that's good. That's a water separator filter there. I mean, it's running, but it's still not running very fast. Still got to be some stuff in there, so got to keep blowing her up. Not a lot of junk coming out in there in the gas, though. But there's a lot of junk in there. 
Check this out though, I just emptied the can into this can and look at all that. That rust sediment wasn't there. It's the best way to clean out the inside of a can. A gas tank. I'm just gonna start by stuffing a couple of rags in here. Kind of oily rags from doing the oil change. Reach around as much as I can in there. Hit it with some air like Camerata does. Seem to have lost one in there. Come out. Uh, it's got some dirt and rust on there. So I'll give it another splash of gas. All the goose stays in the bottom. I put stable in there too, so I'm surprised it's that dirty. There's still a ton of rust in there. Oh, look at over there. Look, this thing was just like full of water instead of gas. I really should have left it full of gas, so my mistake. I did put uh, stable in there, that didn't work. But All right, let's check the bowl. Where's the can? Where's the can, man? It's a little cloudy. They're just taking the whole thing off, right? Oh, that, why is that so tight? Oh, that feels like water. Ooh, not good. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, it's really, 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 really yucky. Okay. Oh, so's the float. The float's all mucked up. This needs a carb rebuild now. All right, stay tuned for carb rebuild. Seems to be a 12. Oh, look at that, just like, comes right off it immediately. How do you undo a plastic nut? Hmm. Okay, what else are we going to try? How about a line wrench? We're going over the line. Over the line. Okay. Oh, the line wrench does it. The line wrench is the tool to use. I'll be back. Nope, so you got stuck. I'm gonna try the double D. Double D. Should work on everything. After I watched that guy, Tom McGovern, he sings about everything, and that's now my mind is going like that. Uh, I won't I won't do it though. Seems to be working though. There you go. Look at that. W D. If you don't have some, get it. Get locked. Put it everywhere. Good for everything from arthritis to widgets, as well as line wrenches. Best ones are uh, snap-on though. These are not snap-on, these are crappy no-names. I do have some snap-on ones though. Check out the snap-on wrenches. Not in there. Not in there. Not in there. Oh, that looks like them. Under there. Snap on flare nut wrenches in the box. Dun, dun, dun. Look at that. That is made the right way. Is there a 12 mil? Mm, that's uh, 5 eighths. These are, 
these are not millimeters these are all standard that's a funny thing eh america the whole world uses metric including up here in canada and america has the balls to, to say ours is standard <laughs> finish this up here forgot what i was doing Aha, uh -huh, look at that. Oh my god, that's gross. Get a light on it. Gross. Full of goo. Look at how much goo is on that end. Uh, let's clean that out properly. Well, I'm guessing you can uh, replace this thing, but I don't have one. Just put, take it off there and put that in and screw it back in. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure you can clean it up though too. Just going to use a little of this uh, cleaning solution, ZEP, that I have in my water-based, that I have in my cleaning parts washer, tiny little parts washer. I used to have a bigger one when I had the bigger shop, but I went back to this one. This is original. This is like 30 years old, this little parts washer. Anyhow, we're going to use this water-based solvent. Let's see if that gets the goo off. Uh, there's my toothbrush. <laughs> I'm going to use that. If it works that well on my teeth, it should work on this rust, rusty gas filter. And then see how it works on my teeth afterwards with the Zep on it. Ooh, that's looking pretty good already. You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to Spray some of something, some of it through there. What do I have? I could do that with. I can't find my squirter. Aha! Uh -huh. She's a squirter. That's what I was looking for. Some of this in here. Squirt it through there. Ooh, look at how look at how look how soft this thing is. You can't see it there. Is it in the picture? There. Look at wow, wow, wow. Oh, it's broken. That's why. Why? Is my chase. Oh, I had, you know what? I had that enormous horse syringe that I gave Ralphie Girl a shot with. Oh, look, there's one sitting right behind it. That is weird. I never saw this one. Let's try that one. It's got a very pointy tip on there. Oh, that works. It worked very well. I'm going to get the big horse one. I can't remember which video it was. I did a rec recreation of giving Ho Ralphie Girl a shot because I didn't have the camera out there when I was actually supposed to be giving her the shot. Uh, I don't want to use that. That's a whole bunch of uh, medicine in there. Let's clean that out first. A can of gas there. Don't use this again for medicine. Remind me not to use this again to give the horse a shot. After I clean it up with gasoline. There we go. Alright, back to this stuff. Get a whole pile of it in there. Oh, nice. Oh, it's coming out the bottom, backside. Alright, so I think this uh, filter is the way it should be. Flow in. Yep, flowing right from the top there now. I wish this was a little bigger, so I could maybe squeeze it in there. But uh, that one's no good. This one's got a different tip on it. What if I change this one? I hate to pull these out because they can they break. Oh, there we go. But I'm gonna have to. Oh, it's not even the same size. Look, that's not the same diameter, is it? Not going to work. That's the one I want too. Damn. All right, put it back in. Just try to make it work. Yeah, this one fits in nicely. Okay. I'm sure you don't want to be watching me squirt cleaner through this tube. All right, we're done. All right, let's just squirt a little air through this to finalize the operation. Go 
played. I do believe that is fully clean. Sorry, I was looking for something to plug this up on the bottom so I could put some of that metal ready. Rust inhibitor, rust fixer, rust attacker in there. Make sure that that rust turns into iron oxide. How about the magic drawer? This stuff here has been like this since my dad owned this toolbox way back in 1940-something we bought it. Bow, bow, bow. Ulrich Dannenberg. Snap on tools property of. Uh, yeah, so uh, I've added and taken out a few things. Look, something like that, but without a hole. How about a bolt? I don't know. Is that going to have the same thread pitch? Airtight, would it? Or liquid tight? Hmm. Oh. Let's try that. Put it on top of something. Put it on top of this pan. And I was talking about. This is metal clean. That's a degreaser. Also from PR. But again, like I used on the motorhome. Metal prep. Used to be called metal ready. I keep saying metal ready. It's, uh, I think it's like potassium, so I don't know, some, no, I don't, can't remember what it is again. I forget every time I want to say it. And, uh, yeah, anyways. It, uh, what does it do? It's a neutralizer, rust neutralizer. That's what it is. So, get in there and neutralize that rust. And then we'll, uh, ooh, look, it came out all red it's actually purple so it's pretty dirty in there maybe i should have started with the uh oh look at all the stuff in there yikes okay i might have to do this a couple times there's a whole bunch of lumpies in there look in here again what do we see mm, i don't know see less lumps anyways can you see in there we'll just let that dry and uh sort out its issues while we're doing the rest of the job. Next up, removing the carburetor. Carburetor, carburetor. Sometimes the generator can be a bit of a pain in the ass to work with because it's got this frame all the way around it. I guess it's better to have the frame than not. Okay, let's uh, put things where they should be, or sound kind of, so I know what goes where. Carburetor stuff down there. This is a job for glasses. I think that probably goes here. It's like this spring back here, probably where it's supposed to be. Leave that there. Take this cover off first. There we go. Cover is off. Now I can see what I'm doing. Carburetor. Got a gasket. It's holding this up. More of a spacer. Plastic. Phenolic. Oh. Jeez. I think it could just slide off, right? No. There. That one's done. Now this one. Well, that side comes off, oddly. Okay, this little thing goes in here, pretty sure. It wasn't even in there. And the spring goes into the hole right here. And there's the frame in the way <laughs> of getting the carburetor off this screw. Come on. Ugh, it's too tight in the block to move it. You know what we need again? Double D. Double D. Put it in there. Oh, there you go. Probably didn't need the larger pliers now because the WD was doing its job. See? Finger tight now after the WD. Okay, slide back. And, oh my god, finally. That, that took way too long to get the little tiny carburetor out, didn't it? 
Anyhow, let's take a look at that. Yuck. Got to clean that out big time. Let's go over to the cleaning area. I should drain the oil, let it drain while we're cleaning the carb, right? Let's do a quick check on the oil, see what we got here. Again, has very few hours on this machine. Whoa, look how full that seems and, and weak sauce. Let's uh, wipe that off. I'm supposed to check it by screwing it right in, right? I'm pretty sure. Holy, look how. Ooh, that smells gassy. Not gassy like a person gassy. Gassy like petrol gassy. Yes, it does. Okay, let's drain this puppy right out of there. Here we go. Uh, ooh, she, oh, she's tight too. Need a little pan under there. All right, I just moved it around a bit so I could uh, put a pan under here and hopefully it would drip. Oh, there's a little, oh my God. There's a little um, crossbar here where it's mounted to. It looks like it's gonna either drip right beside it or onto it, so let's see what happens. Uh, any guesses as to how old this uh, machine is? This machine I bought when we built our first house in Saskatchewan. It was out in Porcupine Plain. Let's see where the oil is going to go here. I should lift that pan up before it goes everywhere. Oh, perfect. Ooh, that does seem weak sauce oil. Look at that. And you can see that down there? Uh, yeah. We'll let that drain until we're finished cleaning the carb so it can all come out. And then I should tip it up because it's kind of on a flat surface there. Hmm. Anybody else have to go to the bathroom? Lucky I didn't use a much smaller container I was going to use in the first place. This machine, yes, 30 years ago I think it was, probably, that I bought it. it cost me money. Not a lot. Actually, you know, it probably was a lot, because it's a Honda. Hmm. How about this? I hope it doesn't slide off here now that I did that. All right, let me get this uh, pin out of here. Do not lose it. Put it in there. Get the floaty off here. This is water-based again right now. Water-based solvent cleaner. Zep. Zep is in there. Degreaser. Just wanna... Doesn't really feel like the plastic should. Let's just let that soak under there. And Oh yeah, look at all the rust under there. That is yicky. I did take a peek down the uh, intake. That's very clean. It's just where the moisture was catching here on the as the fuel evaporated. I'm pretty sure. I thought for sure I put premium fuel in it too, because we have a I have a 45 gallon drum of premium fuel out there for all these things. But uh, I don't know something happened where there's an awful lot of moisture got got in here. It sat here all year, all summer. I mean I don't know. Maybe it's pretty high humidity here in the summer. Generally not high humidity here at all. Let's try this side. Oh, this side feels better. There, yeah, there we go. All right, let's get this part. All right, this here is all just a pedestal, so I can just try to get that clean with a wire brush. But let's look inside here. Oh yeah. I guess that was gas, but it's all clean in there, so it's good. What is that? Secondary bowl? Is that a power valve? Not sure what that is. Put that back. Clean enough. Take these guys out of here. What do I need there? 
Phillips. Phillips. Phillips was a Canadian, I believe. Oh no, maybe it was Robertson. Robertson was the Canadian. Square is much better. <clears throat> oh, I don't want to come out very easily. Just bought this one. That don't fit at all. Oh, Mary. All right. Got to use something like brand new that fits really well in there. This one. Mm -hmm, that's pretty good. I have a little ratchet here that I was using on the. I was using this item. This is really actually good in some tight spots. I had to use it on the uh, Comet starter. And nothing else would fit behind there. Not the starter, the uh, coil. This will allow me to push in harder too, I think. Get it going the right way. Push. Got her, got her, got her. That was the one. It comes, comes out of cam, cams, reverse cams too easily. There, got her. You can hear that breaking loose, I'm sure. All right. What's in here? Somebody's yelling at the screen right now. It's this thing. Oh, it's the spring for the uh, spring cap. For the gas on. That's all. Nothing exciting in there, people. Just turns that so that the gas can be on or off. All right. Put it back together. That was anticlimactic. Holy mackerel. Totally anticlimactic. Really not much to this carburetor, of course. And of course there's the uh, emulsion tube that, that an emulsion tube in the center that uh, I don't even want to mess with, screw with. F with because you know how those are generally not apt to come out of there. Take a look in there again and see what we got. We do have a uh, slotted. Don't want to fit in there, of course. It's a tiny slotted. I'll give it a twist and just see if it would hold. Oh, I don't know if that's going in far enough. Hard to tell. Hard to tell. What else we got here? Come on, screwdrivers. Screwdrivers, lots. Got lots of different kinds of screwdrivers. Okay, this is funny. I thought I couldn't get a screwdriver in there, that nothing was catching in there. Turns out it was loose and just felt like it wasn't catching. That is great, weird. I don't know what the story there is. Come here. See through there? I think I can see through there. Now, you know what I always use here? Is a uh, twist tie wire. I rebuilt a lot of carburetors, a lot of Hollies and stuff when I was restoring cars. And uh, you think you're getting passageways opened and cleaned out by spraying, you know, carb cleaner or air through them, but sometimes you don't. You really got to pass a wire through like that to make sure. I, I had this thermal quad on a 73 Challenger. 
that I wanted to keep running, keep using the thermal quad. And uh, I rebuilt that thing four times until the neighbor who was, that's all he did at his job was rebuilt. He showed me this trick. He said, get a wire, pass this wire through every orifice that you can find. He said, that's the only way you're gonna know that things are truly open. See this one here, that's this is more than likely open, but it could have something stuck right there. And if you, uh, I mean, if you can see the liquid coming out, I guess, with the brake cleaner, you're pretty assured of it, but a little bit of brake clean can go by and there can still be like a little something stuck in there. So that's the needle or the air bleed maybe. And uh, yeah, see, now I stick that right through there. I can see it sure that that's open and you can kind of go around the edges make sure there's no bits stuck to it calcification kind of stuff a squirt as well clean 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 put this back Of course I should have counted how many screws <laughs> came out, but I think it was flush to the outside here. Which means it was right in, all the way in. I can see the edge of it sticking out there. So let's back that off. One and a half turns. Seems standard on most things. Half, one, half. Start with that. Okay, this so looks good, feels good. I'm just going to scrape this off here. Just taking the uh, wire, well-worn wire brush, small wire brush, getting all this little bit of rust at the base of the parts in here. I should put my uh, dollar bills away before somebody sees them. Dollar bills, dollar bills, baby, dollar bills. good now my OCD really causes me issues with things like this these little uh, I want to spend a uh, half an hour bending all these <laughs> wires straight don't you look at that come on why are y'all bent like that man why actually you do bend over I actually spend a lot of time with the sink brushes, you know, in their nylon, you know how they get all bent. I'm going to use a sink brush for a while, then I'll put like a rubber band around it or something to try to straighten out those. Probably telling too many secrets here. OCD secrets. Secrets of the OCD population. Caught it from my mom, who is, who is a clean freak. Always was a clean freak. My wife, mm, not so much. She's much more relaxed. I'm telling stories while I'm trying to straighten out these. Why am I doing that? I don't know. Okay. I was just talking about it. I wasn't going to do it. Hmm. But there you go. It looks, like it looks better. works better. Okay. That's probably enough video time cleaning this, right? Let me squirt it up. All right. Last bit I'm going to clean is the orifice right through the tube here. And it's got a fairly big starting hole. So I'm going to use this little larger wire here that in there and then I'm going to finish it up with twist tie wire right to the top I can see it coming out there inside can I? I think I can I think I can I think I can hmm. let's make this wire more bare more bare Straight. There you go. Can find the hole. Spend a lot of time looking for the hole, don't we? Come on. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh. 
Oh, I can see it coming out of there. Can anybody else see that right through there? Perfect. Squared it with this stuff. Whoa. Break clean. All good. The W40 would never hurt, right? Get everything removed. The water out here. All right, I'm gonna just blow this all off here. Oh, before I forget, I'm gonna spend a little time just getting all this just coloration off here. Look at the little plastic needle and seat. Isn't that cute? Spring on the bottom there. Oh, so's Danica. I can hear her barking outside. Look at it. Something's got to get that off there. Where's my wire brush? Look at that. Who said OCD is a bad thing? I cleaned that up, but good. All right. Let's put it back together. You go like that. Pin to hold you in. This, this can't be bent, so there ain't no way to adjust this. It's one way or the highway. That goes there. This guy goes somewhere else. Might be right. This is gas on, gas off. Wax on, wax off. Oh, I see. This goes in here. There we go. So I can open and close that choke. All right, we're good to go. Thank you. Makes sense. Choke on the outside. A puzzle of engineers. All right, now these little guys. One goes. Like so. Pushes it back. And this little. Springy. There we go. You got to have the little, uh, Things cocked in the right over on this side to get them through the respective holes in the case. Handle. There we go. Rubber hose in the right spot too. Everything at once. Okay. You still not in the right spot to go in the hole. There we go.
get you a little washer on there. And there you go. Simple as pie. <laughs> oh. The wrench just goes on backwards. That's all there's to it. It's just like, oh, I'm going on backwards no matter what you say, what you do. Yep. I doesn't have like a big off on. I have these other ones that have a red on it. Not that I figured out which what the red means, but I have other ones that there's a red that means uh, you know one way on, I guess. Who remembers where these two go? Do do do. Right back here. Owner's manual. Going to tell me what kind of oil. I think there's a spark plug like, uh, tool in here too. Yep. So you can read it more. I'm rolling up all the time. All right. Oil type. Page 21 it says. No oil. See page 16. <laughs> page 16 says um, for minus 20 to plus 20, 1030. I got some of that. How do I have that? Done. Let's take a look at this old oil. Oh, it's quite a bit of it. Huh. Mm, that smells gasoline like, but doesn't look all, doesn't look that thin. Only thing left to do is put the uh, air cleaner back on and I'm going to check the uh, spark plug just because. I think it's a smaller plug. This is the only small one I have. No, it's a large plug, of course. I got lots of large ones. Interesting, eh? Looks all right, a little dark, but on the rich side, but not heavy deposits or anything. Take this over on the, in the motorhome, but let's just give it a. a nib right there for it. That doesn't look stock, does it? I'm just going to uh, blow this out and uh, leave it to dry for a while. Then we'll put it back together. Check out what I just noticed. I was just about to uh, check the oil again and I was going on about whether this should be screwed in or not. And there's a diagram right here. And I think if I'm looking at it right, the diagram says you check the oil, this isn't screwed in all the way. So it looks like it's it's not screwed into the bottom and yet it's showing oil full at the top there. So I think this is a not screwed in all the way. Whereas the chainsaw, the instructions definitely say to screw it in all the way. So this one, I'm just gonna look at it like that. Now that it's settled for the night, uh, yeah, it's only right there. So it needs to touch more. Before we throw the uh, gas tank back on, this just needs a little bit. Come on, baby. Get in there. Get in the hole. Hey, dog is moving the camera around. Danica, get off that. Sorry, dog is moving the uh, tripod. I'm sure this, that's probably going to be enough, right? Of course. Dog is, uh, the dog is right below me and resting her head on the tripod. Anyways, sorry about that. Okay, now we are just going to check it again, not putting it all the way in. Uh, 
Uh, oh, look at that. I can actually see the drip on the end of it there, right? Perfectly to the mark. Okay, we're going to leave that for that. That is going to be good. Gas tank's upside down sitting here, if you didn't notice that. And this is being cleaned to within an inch of its life. That was so impacted with junk. Got that all cleaned up as well as the inside of the tank is cleaned and the rust has been fixated. <laughs> um, I'll show you that actually in a second here. The uh, metal ready turned it all rock hard, whatever is in there. I mean, I could go to the trouble of sealing the tank or with something, but I'm just not going to do that. It's got this filter on it anyway, so no rush should go in. And if you leave it, as we just learned, if you leave uh, the thing long enough, with moisture, it's going to get into the gas tank anyways. There we go. Now she's bottomed out. Okay. Push this in that side and clamp her in. We got the gas tank here. Now we're on the other side, and this there's the hose that I just attached. It attaches to the fuel fuel line right there. Oh yeah, it's got to fit into this thing at the same time. Okay, now this has to come off again. Oh, there we go. Ah, now I got her. I think that's all the way on. Okay, got that. Back of the tank, there's a bolt back here and a couple of nuts up front. Check, check. It's all connected. The fuel line's connected. The little filter on top here. Throw the start cover back on. Oh, it should be good to give her a crank. Make sure that uh, cover doesn't bend the uh, spring and whatnot there. The governor spring. The governor. All right, we should be good to go. Grab the little uh, furniture dolly that this was on, and like we can move it over to the door over there. Go, lady. Go, lady. Go, lady. Oh, I almost forgot. I just uh, looked online. I could buy a um, exhaust um, kit that would go out of here and down below the motorhome. So if you wanted to run it while it was in the motorhome, not have to take it out, uh, you can do that. And then the exhaust is exhausted out the back door, out the back end. It's cold and ugly out here, like Vancouver. I had to tip this up. I guess there's not a lot of gas left in here. I have to fill it up again. But uh, I noticed this uh, pump is leaking from the handle here, which broke off. And then I put a nut on it and I was using my impact wrench. The nut fell off. So I'm gonna have to bring it from the garage now. Well, I'm not gonna fill it up while I test it, I guess. But I'll fill it up afterwards this time. Nothing leaking. Everything looks good. Fuel on here. Gas on. Choke on. <laughs> That's why. Choke off. Choke off. Cleaned up. Oh. Hmm. Died with choke off. 
see why that was. So, let's give it half to it. Test that. Test it with my broken grinder. Interesting. Oh, this is burning out. This my grinder is uh, the bearing is burning. Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh, right. Like one more thing. All right. Luckily, I seem to. I think I have a rope. Start. <laughs> Just leave a tail on it. Then what I found was the governor uh, spring and rod had come out of a little plastic piece in here because I hadn't clipped it right in so you got to push it over to get it to clip in and under so it stays in there so now that's governor and governine and I checked the front that should be on the right spot now so I'll just throw this winder on and we'll give it one more test here uh oh here comes everybody like, yeah, can I do it can I help no you guys can't help I'm just looking for the nut move come on get out from under there get out from under there on.
So there we go, that's cleaned up. No more rust and dirt and water in the carb. Full tank of gas for now. And we'll double check it before we leave on our trip. Uh, governor's working. That takes a big draw, that little compressor. And I left a little bit of string still on there. I'll just cut that off now. And yeah, change the boil. Spark plug looks good. You're such good company. You're a good shop dog. You're a good shop dog. So is Danica. Danica's a good shop dog too. Yeah, here comes Danica. What do we hear in the background, Danica? She says, I don't care. I'm going to knock you off your feet in a second. We hear the train are coming, coming around the bend. Here. Oh, they're such good friends, these two. What a good girl.